describe yourself as sickened with self-control. You say it is a million miles away from reality and down on two. One of your ways... We should have thought about what it would look like to have people out in the, uh, in the garden uh, when other people were not allowed in the garden, even though the garden was, was being used as a, a, as a place of, of work. But not just the media coverage, but the, the, the dramatic representations that we're now having of this are absolutely absurd. And uh, I, 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 I want to repeat that. They're a million miles from the reality of what happened. Mr Johnson, one of the problems is that um, I've received a number of messages from bereaved people as I've travelled around the United Kingdom, um, and so many of them who suffered horrific grief during lockdown, yes. we all know that it's far more traumatic even than um, many other kinds of grief, and then I'm afraid it, Partygate has been called exacerbated. Of course, grief. and I, 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 my lady, I, I totally understand their, their feelings. I just want to remind you that I, I, when, when I went into IT, uh, to in, intensive care, I, I saw uh, around me a, um, a lot of people uh, who, were, who were not actually elderly. Um, and they, and they, in fact, they were middle-aged men, um, and they were, they were quite like me. And some of us were going to make it and some of us weren't. I knew from that experience what an appalling disease this is. I had absolutely no personal doubt about that from March onwards. Uh, to say that I didn't care about the, the suffering that was being inflicted on the country is simply uh, not right. Mr Johnson, I have never suggested you didn't care about the suffering. I suggested you didn't care about the reaction to the behaviour demonstrated a clear reference on the face of that WhatsApp. Well, I thank you for that, that, that clarification. Self to be shielded, or uh, even if the government is trying to shield this segment of the... And I, I don't understand how that... I don't understand how something as um, well publicised as, as that as, uh, could have been smuggled past the, um, the scientific advice. I don't you say it was a million miles away from the reality of... Your chief advisor was saying we should consider a two-week circuit breaker. Your government chief scientific advisor was saying circuit breaker would be for two weeks. Why did you not continue to follow, to be guided by that advice in September 2020? Why did you deliberately allow yourself to depart from that stated position? Okay. First of all, because the, the scientific advice was not clear. There was a, uh, there was a yes, there was, a, there was a, a push for a circuit breaker, uh, but that was not supported by the health secretary, as, as he's testified to you. And he was normally in the, uh, amongst the toughest uh, in um, wanting to impose lockdowns. Shield this segment of the, of the population is not going to work because the the infectiousness. He says people can rationally make an informed choice whether they individually would take a small increased risk of dying by hugging their grandchildren or going clubbing. Perhaps not the same people both hugging their grandchildren and going clubbing. But at a population level, this is the, the government is under an obligation to ensure that the epidemiological line is held so that the R rate doesn't then go back above one. I couldn't see how it would, would fix our, our, our problem but it was sometimes a, a job to explain that to, to colleagues, but you can see that we didn't pursue it. Well, it appears to have been quite a job to explain it to you because you wanted that choice to be given to individuals and your CMO was saying, don't do that. And, it's, and, and quite rightly, I was interrogating my advisers about points that had been made to me with a view to understanding the arguments and being able to explain them to the world, that which is, which is my job.